Hello friends, in this video let us solve 15 questions on A to D converters and D to A converters. If you have not watched the theory session on A to D and D to A converters, links are given in the description. Please go through it and then you attend the quiz session. Starting with 31st question, disadvantages of weighted type D to A converters is first option more resistors are used, second option more variants of resistors are used, third option accuracy is poor, fourth option all of the above. We know that in the case of weighted type D to A converters, first stage is 2R, next stage is 2 square R, next stage is 2 cube R and so on to 2 power N R. Nothing but more resistors are used and more variants of resistors are used. We know that resistor is a temperature dependent, hence accuracy degrades. So the suitable option is option number D that is all of the above. 32nd question, 1 LSB equals to least incremented voltage, half the maximum voltage, independent of number of bits, fourth option is none of the above. Least significant bit, that is nothing but the least incremented voltage, hence option number A is correct. 33rd question, negative error can be found in, first of all, what do you mean by error? Error is nothing but the difference between the true value and measured value. First option what they have given is counter type, second option flash type, third option successive approximation register, fourth option dual slope or integrating type. We know that in the case of counter type, the error is negative. Nothing but measured value may exceed the true value. Hence, the error is negative. The suitable option is counter type. 34th question DAC is used in first option counter type, second option flash type, third option SAR, fourth option dual slope. Multiple options may be correct. So DAC is used in counter type as well as successive approximation register type. Hence option number A and C is correct. 35th question fastest A to D converter is first option counter type second option flash type, third option SAR, fourth option dual slope. We know that fastest A to D converter is flash type because we are going to make use of an op amp and op amp is acting like an comparator, hence option B is correct. 36th question, circuit complexity can be found in nothing but in which A to D converters or D to A converters circuit is complex. First option counter type, second option flash type, third option SAR, fourth option dual slope. Since we are going to make use of comparators, nothing but we are going to make use of an op amp, it occupies more area, hence flash type is the correct answer. Option number B is correct. 37th question. Number of comparators used in 8-bit flash type is first option 256, second option 8, third option 7, fourth option 255. We know that number of comparators required that is equals to 2 power n minus 1 uh, that is nothing but 2 power 8 minus 1, 256 minus 1 which is equals to 255. Hence, option number D is correct. That eighth question, maximum conversion time can be found in counter type, flash type, successive approximation register type and the fourth one is dual slope or integrating type. We know that maximum conversion time is found in dual slope. How much? That is 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 times of t clock. Now look at the table, this is maximum conversion time, for counter type it is 2 power n minus 1, for flash type it is in the order of nanoseconds, but for the successive approximation register type it is n times of t clock and for dual slope it is 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 times of t clock. If n is large then maximum conversion time Ta will be a large quantity. And one more formula what you have to remember is Va times of Ta which is equals to Vr times of Td. Very, very important. 
Thirty ninth question: Settling time is independent of input values. In which type of A to D converters this statement is correct? First option counter type. Second option flash type. Third option SAR. Fourth one dual slope. We know that settling time is independent of input. That is in the case of SAR. Now, if I am considering three bit A to D converter. If I am giving 010 as my input or 011 or 101, any set of inputs if I am giving, the conversion time or the settling time is fixed in the case of SAR. Whereas in the case of dual slope, it depends on my input. Even in flash type as well as in counter type also, it depends on my input value. Accuracy is best in the case of first option counter type, second option flash type, third option SAR type. And fourth option, dual slope. We know that we know that accuracy is best in the case of dual slope. That is option number D is correct. For the first question, which A to D converter rejects power fluctuation? That power fluctuation you can also call it as hum. First option counter type. Second option flash type. Third option SAR. Fourth option dual slope. So power fluctuation will be reduced by dual slope, that is integrating type. Hence, option number D is correct. For the second question, initially we are going to charge. Then, based on the input, the value we will be getting discharged. This mechanism is found in counter type, flash type, SAR type, dual slope type. This mechanism is found in dual slope. Hence, option number D is correct. In digital voltmeter, nothing but DVM, A to D converter used is first option counter type, second option flash type, third option SAR, fourth option dual slope. We know that in digital voltmeter. If you want to make use as a digital voltmeter, dual slope or integrating type will help. Hence, option number D is correct. Forty-fourth question: Practically, which A to D converter is not used? Which A to D converter is not used means it is flash type because the number of comparators that is required is two power n minus one, which will be a large quantity. Hence, flash type is not preferred. Forty-fifth question. Which A to D converter has least conversion time? From the table, we know that flash type require least conversion time. That is in the order of few nanoseconds. Counter type requires two power n clock pulses. SAR requires n clock pulses. Dual slope requires two power n plus one minus one times of t clock pulses. And flash type requires only few nanoseconds. Hence. Option number B is correct. If you are visiting first time on my channel, make sure you want to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get instant notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. All the best for your competitive exams. 